We're gonna start with the class of phonics. If you remember yesterday, we talked about possessives. Here we have a picture. The boy's bedroom was clean. And also we have the boy's bedroom was clean. As you can notice, it has the same pronunciation, but the way that it's written, it's different. Sentence number one, we have the boy's bedroom. Boys, boy, apostrophe as that means that I'm talking about singular, just one boy. Oh, plural. Mm -hmm. singular. And the second one is plural. Thank you, Rebecca. The boys, this is plural. I'm talking about two boys, the boys, apostrophe, and then I write bedroom was clean. We talk about some rules. Let's review this rule class. We say that we have singular nouns. When we have singular nouns, we just write apostrophe and S, like dog, house, dog's house, book, wars, books, wars, gear. It's, I'm talking about just one gear, so I say the girls dolls. So it's singular. I write the apostrophe and the S, apostrophe and S, sister's room. I'm talking about just one of my sisters, so I say sister's room. Jim's pants, pen. I'm talking about one boy that the name is Jim, Jim's pen. My mom's bag. But what happened when you have plural nouns? Plural nouns means more than one. So we need to write just the apostrophe because the noun ends with S, like boys, boys, it ends with S. So I say boys, boy, table slack. Gears hands, so I just write the apostrophe because the noun it's plural. But remember that we have some plurals, some plurals nouns that they are irregular, they don't follow the rule. Like children means women's, we write the apostrophe in the S class because the word doesn't end with S, so we write apostrophe and S, apostrophe and S. Now let's practice. Let's practice using this link. I'm going to stop sharing here so we can review when we use apostrophe S or just the apostrophe or also the S. So I have here the game. Let's, okay, just stop. Let me see. Okay, let me open it one more time. So we're going to identify if we can put the apostrophe or the S or the S to that. Okay, somehow it's not working with link. I'm going to try one more time. So this is here. We're going to play the link later. Later the link. I'm going to be opening it so I can I can open it right now. So I'm going to open one more time. So at the end, we're going to play with the link. Now open your book. Open your book on page 131. 131, we have more exercises about possessives. Possessive now singular and plural possessive class. So we have to read the sentence, read each sentence, complete the sentence with a word from the word bank. And we have the word with apostrophes. So we're going to complete it according to the sense. So let's see, number one, sentence number one. Anna, help me to read sentence number one. Okay. The science reports are due today. Hmm? Sentence number one. The science reports are due today. What is the best option class? The giraffe science report, mm -hmm. the class science report, the porcupines, the judges, the eels, the wars, the dolphins, birds, ostrich, teachers, squids, or birds science report is the best option. knows the answer you you are you sure the science reports are due oh. today what is science class is a class class, class. so the class, class the class the science so it's going to be class science is a class so the class apostrophe and s because class is singular even though this word ends with s I need to write apostrophe in S because it's singular, this word. So the class science 
reports are due today. Number two, read sentence, uh, read the sentence number two. Let's see, Alberto. One class has entered a constant. Hmm? <laughs> teachers. The teachers, one teachers, why teachers class? We are talking about the teacher, the teacher of the class. So the teacher's class has center a called con contest. Perfect. Sentence number three, Danny. Read sentence number three, please. The long neck make it the tallest animal. Mm -hmm. Giraffes. Giraffes. That's right. Excellent. You know that it has the one of the long necks. Okay, the giraffes. Apostrophe and as it's singular, long neck makes it the tallest animal. Thank you. Number four, Hermes, read number four. The largest desert is the Sahara. Hmm? Worlds, worlds. Wars, that's right. Thank you. The wars. So we write apostrophe and s. The wars largest. Perfect. Number five. Let's see number five, Rosa. Read sentence number five, Rosa. Rosa connected. No. Yes. Yes. Sentence number five. A heartbeat is low when hibernating. Hibernating. Yes, the birds. That is the animal that it's hibernated. So we are going to write it. Remember, singular apostrophe and s. Perfect. Number six, read sentence number six, Rebecca. The long boards make them long, look like a snake. Dolphins? Dolphins. Mm, no, no, dolphins in my meat. Ostrich. Ostrich. No. Squids? The eels, that's right, the eels, lamb body, so eels, sorry, with the apostrophe, the eels, it's in plural, so we just write the apostrophe, eels, plural, so just the apostrophe. Next one, number seven, Fernando. The large body and small wings keep it from flying. Birds. 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 No, large body and small wings. They can ostrich, apply. Ostrich. The ostrich, that's right, ostrich. What is an ostrich? An ostrich. What is an ostrich in a Spanish class? Apostrophe and neck. It's a bird with long neck. That's right. Un avestruz, we say in Spanish, right? Large body and small wings keep it from flight. Okay, number eight, Chiara. Don, yes, look. Like handing that. Mm -hmm. Birds, birds. Yes, yeah, some birds because we're talking about the nest. So it says that some birds nest, we're referring to the nests of the birds. So they are in plural. So we just write apostrophe, apostrophe after the letter S. Santiago Chavez, number nine. No, number nine, Santiago. Number nine. Oh. Duh. 
and one in Thank you very much. So, so I'm a squid, with the that's right, excellent. Instruments. The squid uh, tentacles are the... used to catch prey. Excellent. The squids are the one you, the, they have tentacles. Remember, it's a plural, so just write the apostrophe. They are used to catch the prey. That's number nine. Thank you, Santiago. Um, Santiago Hernandez, number 10, Santiago Hernandez. Read the sentence number 10. The bower holds enable them to breathe. To breathe. Uh -huh. Which animal has the blood holes and they enable them to breathe? Dolphins. The dolphins, that's right. Thank you. So dolphins, they are in plural. So dolphins is going to be apostrophe, just the apostrophe because this word is a plural now. Number 11, Mia Valentina. Mia Valentina, read sentence number 11. Your microphone is not working, Mia. We cannot listen to you. It's not working, so fix it. Is. Camila, number 11, Camila. Camila Isaguirre. It's not Camila today. No. Yesterday she wasn't here, right? Also. Yes. You know what it's happened? Here. Yes. No, Camila is not here. Hi. Oh, wow. Camila. Yes, Camila. Hello, Camila. Read sentence number 11. Okay. That you mean sure up. To fight inches long. You mm -hmm. mm. No. Um, it's an animal. Okay. Giraffe. No, we already used giraffe. Santiago Chavez, you have the answer on the chat. Break a point. That's right. That is the answer. Thank you, Santiago. Remember that um, Thank you, Santiago. For the Camila. Break a point. So it's plural, so we just write the apostrophe. And other graphic organizers that are going to. Thank you. Now, number 12. What's going to be number 12, Marcelo? Bears. No, read the sentence. Read the sentence. The decision on the winners will be final. Final. Who makes the decision for us? Who makes the decisions? It's a person. Judges. That's Field. right. Judges. Death. Judges. Because it's plural. So judges apostrophe with the apostrophe decision. So the decision of the judges is what it's saying. Or the judges' decisions on the winners will be the will be final. Perfect. Now write the words from the word bank using these words. We're going to classify them according to if they are singular or plural possessive. I'm going to help you with one, and then you are going to work by yourself. For example, singular. We have giraffes. Giraffe is singular or plural? Singular. The singular, apostrophe S. Apostrophe S, that's right. So I'm going to write here giraffe. Why? Because giraffe is a singular with the apostrophe. Plural, which word is plural here? Give me one example for plural. Squeeze. 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 Okay, squeeze. Let's write squeeze. Squeeze. It's plural. Complete it by yourself. I'm going to give you two minutes. Two minutes, and then we check the answers. Miss, can I go to the bathroom? Go, but hurry up because we're in the class. Okay, thank you. Complete it, class. Complete it by yourself. Two minutes to complete it. This part. Then we check the answers. I have a question. Tell me. Why in class all only put the 
a class of the other class. In which word? In classes? Yes. Classes, apostrophe and S. Class, it's singular. You're talking about one class. My class of, okay, my class of phonics, for example. But instead of saying my class of phonics, you say my phonics classes, right? So class, it's singular. But what happens if you say classes? That is plural. That is plural. So my class of phonics, singular, class, classes, plural. So if it has class, singular, you just write apostrophe in net. Classes, it's plural, you just write the apostrophe because it's plural. Okay, thank you. Welcome. I finish. Finish, Danny. We almost finished. You almost finished. I'm going to take the attendance class. Work on this. I'm going to take the attendance. Let's see. Ana, Andre, and Camila. Present. Present. Andrea Flores. Andrea Nunez. No. Gabriela, Isabel, and Chiara. Present. Present. Perfect. Lucia, Mia, and Rebecca. Present. Present. Mia, your microphone is not working. Rosa, Valerie, and Sian. Present. Sian? Still here. Alberto, Dani, and Fernando. Present. Present. Hermes, Joshua, and Caler. Present. Present. Marcelo, Santiago, Hernández, and Santiago, Chavez. Present. Present. All the boys are connected today. Those girls were missing the class. Three girls. Girls, yes. Spanish class, can we check Finish. your answers? Yes. 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 Let's check the answers. Singular possessive. Which other words you write it out in singular possessive? Class, class, class. Classes, that's right. Classes. Worlds, what else? Worlds. Wars. Bears. 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 Teachers. Teachers. Ostrich. An ostrich. ostrich, that's right, because that is singular. Does that? Does it work? Okay. In a plural possessives. Porcupines. Porcupines, okay. Judges. Judges. Judges, okay. Judges. Eels. 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 Eels, 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 birds, 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 okay, we're ready to have it. And all of this. Just this? Yeah. You have all of them? Yes, right. Okay, put a check if you have the same answer. Put a check if you have the same answer. They are Pluto possessive. How can you know that they are Pluto? You look at them. They have? The because S and then the apostrophe. Have a purple in a dolphin. Have a S and um, finally, and only put a apostrophe. Just the apostrophe, right? When they are singular, you need to write apostrophe and S. Perfect. Now, let's go to the next slide. Let's go to the next page 132. What are you going to do, class? You are going to circle the word that contains the possessive. So circle it by yourself. And next page, we're going to circle the word that contains the possessive, class. What do I... For example, this one. The pretty princess drives her neighbor's sleep. What is the, the word? Neighbor. That neighbor. 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 Excellent. Neighbor. So let's circle that word. Complete number two, three, and four by yourself. 
Draw. Draw. Yes, we're going to draw later. First circle. Yes. Circle, circle first, the word that contains that possessive. Yeah. And then we're going to draw according to the so meaning of the sentence. Number two and three and four, I think, have uh, two apostrophes. Would I circle the two? Yes, if they have two, you have to circle the two. If it is just one, what's we'll just circle one? I finished. Finished? Okay, yeah. if you finish, you can start, you can start drawing according to the meaning of that sentence. For example, number one class. Okay, number two, sorry. What is the words that we're going to circle number two? Girls. and girls, that's right. Ads mm. and girls. Number three. Girls. Person, someone. Persons and someone. Girls. And four yes. girls. Girls and bears. Verse. Excellent. So we circled the words that contain the apostrophe, the possessive. Now let's draw. Let's draw. If you have colors, it will be great. Okay, in this minute, we're going to co uh, color and we're going draw. to draw. Yes, you need to draw. Princess now, it says the pretty princess dry hair neighbors is late. What are you going to draw here, class? A princess. princess. Okay, she is driving what? And then, the neighbor, the vecino, el trineo del vecino. That is what it's saying here. So, you're going to draw a girl driving that. It's a princess. Okay, you are better drawings than me. Imagine that this is the, the princess. It's a princess that she is driving the neighbors to live. So, you want to, to draw the gear that is with a mask? Well, it's okay. It's, it's your imagination. Neighbors, el trineo del vecino is what it's saying here, class. Is what this girl is doing. So you're yes. gonna drive the princess. Okay, but it's missing the, 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 the neighbors. That's in mind that it's going to be here. That well, you're a better drawer than me. Use your imagination or maybe in Frozen in another movie you have seen one of these <laughs> as an example well that might be <laughs> okay can I, can I do no please can i do is no yes you can draw no we have to draw for example, we have to draw the princess and sitting just late. Yes, even he's sitting, sitting there. Because she's driving. She's driving it. Number two, Ed Sheer and the girls' blouses are the color turquoise. A key, what are you going to draw there? Ed, it might be a boy. So a boy. So we're talking about the shirt of the this boy of Ed. And the girls' blouses. So we're talking about girls and boys, one boy and girls. And you need to color the blouses of them. So you're going to draw some people here, many people here. Oh, so there might be the girls. I'm going to draw three girls and oh. one boy. Mm -hmm. One boy is going to be Ed, and the other are going to be the girls. Mm -hmm. They are going to be girls. 
And this is the boy. I we're talking about the share of that boy. So let's throw the share and the girls that we're talking about the blouses and the color of them. The share of this boy. The color. We're talking about the color of the share of this boy. So it means that you are going to color according to the color that it means. And the girl, they have some blouses also. So let's throw the body of these girls and the blouses. Means we have to doubt and boy and three girls that share color two kids. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right, because that is what the sentence is saying. So you can draw two girls or three girls, it's okay. Because it's plural, so it can be two or three or more. I'm drawing okay. three, but you can draw two, two or three or more. <laughs> and we're going to color with blue this the blouse. Because that is what it's saying. I don't understand the number two. Number two, we're talking about one boy. The name of the boy is Ed. This is Ed. And the uh, girls, these three girls. And we're mm -hmm. saying that the boy, Ed's shirt, and the girls' blouses, the shirt of the girls also, they are of this the same color. So you need to draw one boy, two girls, or more girls, and color the, the shirt and the, and the, the blouses of two. Yeah, yes. color, sorry, I don't understand. Different shares, color. No, they have the same color. What it says here, Rebecca, are the color what? That's right. So all of them, they have the same color of the chair, of the blouse. You're going to color of what is the same color? Okay. Color turquesa in Espanol. What is how is that color class? It looks like blue, right? Blue. It looks like this one. It's the color of the uh, the black now. It looks like this color. Blue. And Thank you, Anna. Next page, Anna. Next page. You need to work on the next page, Anna. Now, and that's number three. We are going to color. It says two persons crimson cloaks and someone's either at home in the closet. So what it's saying here, two persons, they are talking about plural, plural. So that's why it says persons. It can be people. Crimson clothes. So it says crimson clocks, las capas of these people and someone's be their hat on in the closet. So we're going to draw a closet. You can draw a closet, un armario. Like the one that you might have in your house. And it says that in that closet, there is that clock, the crimson box, and the feather hat hung in the closet. Está colgado. So that is what it's saying here. We are going to throw a hat in a hat here. You can draw a hat. Un sombrero colgado. Ah, yeah. Imagine that this is the hat. That it's in the closet. That might be a closet. And the last one, number four, just to finish because we don't have time. It says, number four, that girls' heads were adorned with wreaths made from flower petals and bird feeders. Okay, so it says that girls' heads, so you're going to draw the head of this girl. ¿Cómo está adornada la cabeza la chica? It says, from flower petals and bird feeders. So you're going to draw here like a like a princess with a with flowers so you can draw flowers she has some okay. flowers on the head yeah. como una corona de flores we can say ah, yeah. Yeah. Plumas. Yeah. like it's like this girl it might be in a carnival in a carnival class 
como en un carnaval que usan plumas, flores en la cabeza. All like that. That is what it's saying the last sentence. Part. And that is what you are going to do. Okay, let's finish here, class. Let's finish. You can draw by yourself later because we don't have time. So let's finish the class. Remember, it's what we have, have to draw in number three. You don't have homework in phonics. Now let's finish. Number three, you have to draw a closet. And in the closet, there might be hung the hat. Un sombrero colgado. A hat is hung in, in the closet. It says. So this is a closet okay, miss. and a hat. Okay, let's finish here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye.